so in this video we will be determining area of a leaf and leaf here is an irregular body area of any irregular body can be determined with the help of graph paper uh, i know that we um, we are all locked down in our homes and it is difficult for you all to buy graph paper so i've made my own and you also make your own the lines the vertical and the horizontal lines are apart from each other by one centimeter all right um before i move into the procedure let us be clear on our term area what is area surface covered by an object area is the surface covered by an object all right um i told you already that the lines the vertical and the horizontal lines they are uh, apart from each other by 1 cm so the square okay square the length of square is 1 cm and then the area of the square out here by applying the formula of square l square it is 1 cm square so area of the smallest square in this graph paper is 1 cm square the area of the smallest square in this graph paper is 1 cm square and here i have made an outline of a leaf i have made an outline of a leaf and we can see that uh, uh, the leaf has covered a, a surface uh, in which it uh, covers some squares that are completely uh, filled this square out here is completely filled right and over here the square is uh, half filled right and this over here is more than half filled so now we are going to count number of fully covered squares and we suppose that as a let us count this is fully covered so this is one two three four so this is not completely covered so now we are not we will not count that five now five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen so total nineteen squares are fully covered fully covered squares so we write down nineteen out here now let us move to now let us move to um, half and more than half covered squares we suppose that as b okay so half and more than half let us count one uh, two three four five six seven eight so Number of half and more than half covered squares are 8. Now, you must uh, also see some squares that are covered. But these squares, like this one, this one here, they are less than half. Okay, these are less than half. So, we will neglect them. We will not take into account. We will not consider them. Okay. So, this number we've got. Uh, now, in total... Uh, number of total squares what is it n equals to a plus b 19 plus 8 right so it is 27 20, 27 squares have been covered right 27 squares have been covered so 27 squares have been covered meaning that's uh, so um, 27 squares have been covered right so surface covered by an object is area right right these are covered squares we already know area of one square isn't it we already know by calculation we have made this graph we've measured and made this graph so if we know area of one square can we know area of 27 squares of course you simply multiply that is area of one square is one centimeter uh, centimeter square now about 27 uh, about 27 squares what what it what will it be you simply multiply right so 
So 1 into 27 is 27 centimeter square. So this is the area. This is the area of the uh, squares that have been covered. And that is in fact the outline of the leaf. And that is in fact area of the leaf. I hope this makes sense to you.